What's up guys, this is TechnoCube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamental. Well, uh, in the previous session we had seen three characteristics of a signal. Amplitude, then time domain and then we had seen phase, phase shift. Okay, so in this session let's start it <coughs> with something called as transmission impairments. <coughs> so I'm going to start the topic with transmission <coughs> impairments now what do you mean by impairment is basically the obstruction that come and exist between the sender and a receiver <clears throat> okay whatever the hindrances whatever the hindrances come and exist in between sender and receiver is known as impairments <clears throat> okay so this is our topic so how many types of impairments we have is basically I will distinguish in three terms. So the first impairment is it is known as attenuation. This is attenuation and then we have something called as distortion. Actually we have so many. But let's just understand that we have attenuation, distortion, we have noise problem and also we have something called as interference. In general, we have four types of problems or four types of impairments thing. Okay, so we have these four parts. So let's understand one by one. <clears throat> so I will start this thing with attenuation now what do you mean by attenuation is it is nothing but loss of energy okay so here what happened is basically there is a loss of energy and why is that so because as you are communicating as you are sending signals on a longer distance these signals are going to be somewhere at the time it is going to be you know low peak or it is going to lose its energy why because signal consists of i equals to vr that means signal is nothing but uh, electrons flowing from this part to this part and this part to other part right because current is nothing but consists of electrons right negative charges so I consist of voltage and resistance. So inside the current we have voltage plus some resistance. So if your current is very high then the resistance is very low. But if your current is very low then there is resistance increase. Now this is the problem. If your current is very low that means your signal strength is very low. I mean this is very low here as your signal strength is very low your current is low that's why. That's why there is a problem of resistance here. The resistance is very high. <coughs> the resistance is very high. So these electrical signals converted to heat after a distance. So it means, <coughs> write it down here. It says electrical signals converted, converted to heat after covering a distance after covering a distance okay so this is the problem that exists in the attenuation okay now the solution is very simple you for the solution what you can do you need you just need to amplify the low peak to high peak and that can be done with the help of <coughs> amplifier device this will increase this will make this low peak into the high peak okay this can be done with the help of amplifier so this is the solution okay now we move to the second problem and the second problem is distortion distortion now what do you mean by distortion means 
signal signal changes its form signal changes its form that means its its physical form or shape from one shape to another shape okay so here signals changes its shape okay now by means of that it is like this so if i have a signal here and keep that in mind that signal it means composite signals so i will draw my composite signals like in this way this is the composite signals that my transmitter is sending to the receiver so this is my comp composite signal it consists of i'll write again it consists of different frequencies okay these are bands but inside that we have different frequencies now if you see the elongated version of this composite signal it looks something like this keep that in mind that we are at the we are actually at the sender side so i will write here that this is my sender side okay and now here on this side i will give you the elongated version of this composite signal so i will draw my each and every frequency so this is my f1 frequency or you can say the carrier frequency or the components of the composite signal the second frequency is going to be like this this is my f2 and the let's say this is my last frequency and it looks like this <coughs> very high okay so this is my f3 so this these are i will write here these are or all these things in general these are components of frequency okay now these frequencies are transmitted from your tx this is transmitted from tx that is your transmitter but but if you see at the receiver side this is my sender side but now when i draw a receiver side signal what exactly happened to these components of frequencies because of noise here here this is my sender okay and because of this something called as noise okay my signal this is signal this is receiver because of this constraint this is noise my signal shape gets changed to something like this okay it's not perfect but this is your f1 which looks like this earlier and now it is look it is looking like this the second frequency which is let's say the phase gets changed complete change there is a low frequency this is your f2 now your f3 is a little bit more different now this is f3 you can see the shape it's changing it's completely changed which is earlier f1 here but now f1 is here is completely different so this is here i will write it down that this part is basically your receiver side so you can see and this thing is because of this reason distortion and distortion can be done or it can be implanted because of this noise thing okay now if you see the composite signal of the receiver then this is the sended signal where is my cursor uh, yeah so this is the sended signal but when you when when you see the receiver side composite signal oh i'm sorry when you see the receiver side composite signal it looks like this it's precisely look like where look like this you can see it's completely changed the shape the shape of signal the shape of signals is changed the shape of signal get is changed from earlier okay so this is because of distortion this is a distortion problem if you keep draw these things 
it would be helpful in your exams okay so please make some diagrams uh, that would be helpful for an examiner to check your paper so this is a problem of distortion i hope you understand it okay now let's uh, get into the next part i mean the solution for this distortion is to is to make your signal in a good quality strength that can be possible with the help of good uh, batteries or some power efficient things okay so the last thing is we have something called as noise it's not last but let's say this is noise so noise you already know it is an um, imbalance or you can see the uh, you can see the uh, the disturbance that occur uh, in the in the signal processing so we have different types of noise the first noise is known as thermal noise <coughs> thermal noise the second noise is known as induced noise <coughs> induced noise the third noise is going to be is going to be our crosstalk we generally call crosstalk as cci that is co channel interference that's okay but then we have something called as impulse noise so these are the four types of noise i'll explain you these thermal noise now thermal noise is because you see here this is your lan cable this is your lan cable so the problem here is as you all know that we have we have signals it is in the form of sine wave and this signals can be made up of current which is i equals to vr and this current is having electrons flowing okay so electrons flowing so the same thing here in the lan cable happens so your signal is there and the signals is having electron charge now the problem here is the the direction of these electrons are not uniform okay they are not uniform but instead these electrons move in a random direction they are scattered and they are they flow in a random direction now because of these random direction <clears throat> at some instant of time the two negative charges are going to be uh, you know are going to be collide with each other now once they do a collision there would be an annihilation okay there is some charge or there is some some energy leaves because of this collision and these this leave energy is known as heat now heat is a problem heat is basically a problem it is a kind of resistance which makes your data weaken or you can say the signal weaken okay your strength your signal strength is going to be weakened and this is the reason what is the reason that electron doesn't flow uniformly it 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 flows random in direction and because of this randomness at some instant of time the two electrons get collide with each other and because of this collision heat is annihilated uh, and this heat is nothing but resistance because of that signal strength is going to be weakened <clears throat> get it okay next thing is we have induced noise now induced noise means the noise from the external source noise from external source now what do you mean by external source it can it, it can be anything such as bikes or any vehicle let's say car factory wind or anything like that okay so these are the external source which hinders our signal uh, or the the actual signal okay so <clears throat> we discuss crosstalk and impulse 